So what's up guys, in today's video, I got some stuff, just some random stuff to show y'all. Get that under there. Yeah, my room's not really that messy today, but it's kind of still a little messy. Alright, so, Bobo just said, and the almost perfect shed, except for the, I lost where, oh, I lost the head shed, had eye caps and all. It was perfect. Oh, but I lost it. Because I had it sitting outside drying. Because it still had some moisture. Because she jumped in the... Or didn't jump, but she took a splash. For a little bit. And wait, why did I throw that in her water dish? Okay, but today I'm going to be... I'm going to be going to... uh. Let me put this in my safe real quick. Uh, open the safe up. And not show my combination. Can I even fit it in the safe? Oh, I cannot. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna hide this somewhere where nobody will ever find it. Oh, yep, I know. My collect my collection is shoebox. Cream soda, Dr. Pepper cream soda, man. Cool. And today I'm going to be watering the animals. Uh, I just got back from some millworm maintenance. I have so many people in here right now. So many people. So I'm going to cut some fruit later, eat some, give the rest to them. Don't have any carrots. I used grapes last time. It lasted for four days. So yeah. But I have a lot of pupa, so I really don't need a big piece of vegetable or fruit but that's almost a perfect shed from there to there it's a perfect shed well right there there's just a hole in the bottom so if I cover that up and I take it like this and today I'm just gonna be like I said watering the animals my two light bulbs right there they're both blue ones because I had the red light bulb in the lamp I took out the lamp for this video. Don't know if you can see the salamander. I might be upgrading the salamander's enclosure, guys. Might be upgrading the salamander's enclosure. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to take her out. Might be upgrading her enclosure very soon. As soon as maybe tomorrow. It's going to be a plastic tub, though. But still, it's going to be way bigger than this fishbowl. Because I'm probably going to be getting some minters. Minnows, whatever you want to call them. I call them minners. Just because, yeah, that's what I... That's what I grew up saying, you know, saying what they were. So let me go get my clean brush. And I'll be right back. Let me go get... Wait. I'll just take the camera with me. To go get the clean brush. Wait, now I'm just going to leave it. Right here, you're gonna see substrate for a minute. Yeah, just watch the substrate. Can you need chest? Not can chest, but uh, got the scrubber. Got my scrubber right here. As you can see, well, I haven't even showed you. It's just a toilet brush that I only use for this. I've never used it for a toilet because that's kind of disgusting. And I mean, that's really disgusting. And yeah, that's really retarded. Why would I do that? And then use it for my animals. This is, this is tough. That was obvious, right? It was great. I was watching uh, Good Mythical Morning. So yeah. But just get where's my water bottle? I use if I can't find it, oh well. I'll just get it get it to this. This works just about as good. It's a big well, yeah. And guys, I found out something better. I guess they get washed every time I use them because it's kind of nasty. Don't because then you're 
Pretty much. Okay, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna. Oh. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get me some. Some. Ah, got my tongs. Yeah, these are my tongs. Ah. Pretty much, you don't need tongs if you can use chopsticks. So you probably, you really don't need tongs if you can use chopsticks. Well, you can't hold a rat by a chopstick unless you're a skilled chopsticker. Most people can't hold a rat by a chopstick. But for what I need it for, it's just to grab the water dish without getting bit. Oh, well, she tried to bite the chopstick. She tried to bite the chopstick. Don't try to bite your water dish neither, please. Good girl. She only bit once. She only struck once, and that's because I kind of frightened her. One water dish down. Yes, I'm not afraid to uh, just drop those on the floor. I'm not afraid to just like leave the cages off or the lids off because oh well, all she really does is chill all day. You know, nighttime's different. She goes out at night. <clears throat> because they're nocturnal animals. She just stays in there. <coughs> uh, like a lot of the day. Also, I might get some more channel content. I might be rehabbing an animal. Or not rehabbing, but <laughs> helping an animal out. A reptile. Okay, I just heard of like a big truck rolling through. Uh, so I'm just gonna move this shed. Beautiful shed, by the way. Big belly skills and all. Big girl. Say a little. See, I don't have to. Well, and plus, I can't pick up that. Rock with no chopsticks. I can pick up her water dish with chopsticks. See, so they both have something fancy. Like, she has... She has no hide. But a, a nice water dish. She has a nice hide. But a plain water dish. But... <laughs> Bobo, I think she's done adapted to, like, not having the hide. Because she hasn't had a hide. And so long because I can't find one to fit her. And so I just, she like just chills. And I think she just learned to chill. I think she's adaptive. Like they, they are adaptive animals. I can really say that about snakes. I can really say that. Snakes and lizards and salamanders and stuff. And well any really reptile or amphibian. Most of them, well not all amphibians. But most of them, the ones that I like, yeah, they can, they can adapt to different, like, things, to new different things. Alright, so while I'm taking out the water dishes. So I'm right in there, we're going to be watering them, like I said. But I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance. Love. Still have my hundred pack of Dollar Tree gloves, and she had a little turd over here. It's not really even a turd. It's just like a tiny little dropping. It's like a really tiny little dropping over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that up. I'm gonna take that, put that glove on. It's kind of difficult to record. I put on a glove at the same time. Might have to put down the camera. Might not. <coughs> Alright. So I pretty much like. <laughs> like uh. Suck the glove into my mouth. And uh. Yeah. That's what I did. Okay. So I have to sit it down for a second. Got the little tiny turd. I'm gonna flip the bag in side out, just like that. Or not the bag, but you know what I mean. 
got the little turd in around it. That's the thing about spot cleaning. That's the only real bad thing about having substrate, which is not even really bad. If you change it at least every six months, I change it at least every one or two, sometimes one and a half. But if you at least change it every six months and you spot clean, your animal should stay healthy. But I still change my, uh, so what I do is I go in here. I mean, I've seen people use it. I mean, if, okay, so like, people use tap water for their animals. So I rinse it really well, but it should be all right. Just a little bit of Dawn should not kill the animal. It should not kill the animal. Just a little bit of Dawn. Dish soap should not murder the animal. Alright. Gonna prop the camera off right here. Yup, propped it up. Alright, so take a little bit of dish soap. See, not very much. Take it. Spray it. I need to stop calling it a toilet brush. It's a cleaning bowl brush. It's really loud. Well, I could use a sponge for this, for hers, but I just use a uh, this anyways because I use it for bowls. So I just go ahead and use this because I use it for bowls. Take it, rinse off the bottom. Don't really have to rinse off the bottom very well because I'm about to save it over. So I'm about to do bowers now. The water is not hot, hot water. It's not like ultra hot water, but it's not like cold because cold doesn't kill bacteria. It's not the hottest that you can get the water, but it's almost there. Oh, oh, dumb, dumb. Pretty good now. I can rinse it with cold or cool water. I like to rinse with cool water or cold water. Now I'm just going to take this, toss it in the cup, and then I will clean it and make sure it's alright. Okay, so there's still a little bit of soap in this. Rinse it off. Alright, that's good. Okay, so yeah, there is like coconut husk chunks like going into the sink, but if you have a normal size sink, it should not go down. Don't oh, my bad. Just knock the phone down. But basically I'm done. Without, ah. so pull the phone back up. Hands right here. So just rinse all these bubbles out. Pick up all the coconut husk chips. Toss the coconut husk chips in the trash. I take the sink, my dad's like uh, germ food, and he, oh, he thinks like, <laughs> he's going to get salmonella from the sink not being clean after me doing it, so, get some dawn on there, elbow grease. <laughs> People should really take advice from me. <laughs> Clean everything with toilet brushes. It scrubs very well. 
and then use a rag to go over it or cleaning towel, whatever you want to call that. Let's call it rag. Because I come from the southern United States. But yeah, rags work for me. Take my hands, dry them off. It really doesn't matter if the underside of the water dish is wet at all, really. Just doesn't, don't have it like saturated in soap. And you're good. Alright, so y'all ready for some ASMR? See, like, like I said, Bobo does not move at all, really, during the daytime. She doesn't really move. Get it? As level as you can get it. It's not as level as I can get it, but I'm not gonna mess with it. Had to sit that down, move my perfectly good shed. Love that shed. I'm gonna keep that. Don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I will keep it. Drop it in there. Get my chopsticks. Okay, there we go. So, so far the video is 16 minutes and 18, 19 seconds counting. Y'all ready for some ASMR now? Are all, you all, are you people, let me say it in as many ways as I can, because y'all sound so southern. Yeah, my feet's really cool. There's <laughs> just a few cups. I will wash those in a little bit, though, because I don't want to do dishes tonight. Alright, so this is gonna be enough to fill up Bubbles. And now we're gonna hear the ASMR. ASMR. Oh, it has some soap bubbles, so I'm gonna go rinse it. Or just catch the soap. There you go, caught it. Caught it. Got it. Oh, okay, this is the camera. Do the house. Yeah, I scoop the soap, the little soap bubbles out. All right. Yeah, bubbles is a little harder to rinse all the way fully compared to Margo's. Margo's is okay. I mean, I don't think a little dawn is gonna hurt the animal. So that's why I clean it with it. I'm not using bleach or nothing. Why well, do you use bleach? Bleach is great. I love bleach. I'll call it too. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button and see you later. Peace.